Igbo tako igbo tako oja gelero Igbo tako igbo tako oja gelero Welcome Yeah today I want to take you down here in Nigeria on those state or critical part local government there is a town there you need to know about Igbo tako and I present to you Igbo tako documentary and follow me as I present the episode 1 of this documentary on map of Ibotako location traditional rulers in Ibotako tea date emergence of Ibotako from Ikale the major villages in Ibotako and religion these I will cover under this episode 1 however you might continue to wonder just like I say where do all this information comes from it's actually from a reliable source and I tell you, you get nothing but truth, fact about Ibotako as a community. Follow and let's go. But before that, I want to state to you that I, okay, or Moge, the moralist, I am from Ibotako. That is my home country. And I'm glad to present to you a documentary. Please do where to like this channel, do where to comment, and do where to also share. Thank you. Now, on map of Ibotako, as you can see on the screen, the map deal is designed by Oki Omoge many years, even before the Fortune University Foundation was laid. However, the map description shown here can as well be improved upon in no time, as I work on that. On location, Ibotako Oja Gelero is one of the major, popular, and most influential towns in the Shoro Kingdom, even in the Kale at large, located in Okitopa local government. The share boundaries with Erekiti, Ijodo, Ijoki, and even far, far Ibutitun. From an area camera of 370 meter altitude, Ibotako is 6.5667 north and 4.6334 east of latitude and longitude of the world globe. From the larger tribe, Yoruba, in the west, Ibotako speaks Yoruba, but mostly, often as a way of communication, we use the Kale. And Ibotako is known for its nine days periodic market. Thanks. Oja Gilero. That is the location. On traditional rulers to date, it is necessary and worthy of note to acknowledge the past and present rulers of Ibutaku Oja Gilero. You know, the title of Ibutaku Oba rules beyond the Ibutaku landmass. Therefore, it is called the Rebuja of Oshu Ruland. Historically, as we were told, from the progenitor or Jagulegun Lumeri of the 17th century. That is where we come from. That is why they call us Wawao Malumuri. Majua is the first king in 1730s. Monogbi is the second king in 1830. Jagbedo is the third king. Bamido, the fourth king. Lubokun, the fifth king. That is where we refer to as our Malubokun. You know, Lubokun, they will say, I fight Juwen, Beowurian. Akin Boyewa is the sixth king in 1885. Ikudamiro, seventh king. Ikunyiminu, eighth king. Nego is the ninth king. Nego Lue is a powerful king. Powerful, but short lived. Couldn't live beyond the four, three years. Adewe, tenth king. Juba, 11th king and to the current paramount ruler of Bagbadi Bobajua, the 12th king has been there since 1977. Today, Kabe is making 46 years on the throne. Long may you reign, or Majoma Oya, Oya Luda, Oya Maloma Lori Okube, or my Kolume, or my Kotuk, the Joluku, Onilewo, or Lede Deokun, Joma Bowo Rirori, O Bowo Kolobere, Joma Reni Beluju, O Keti Koko. Your mother will be like the daring Susu. Your mother will love you. Oh, Bekmaro. Oh, Joko Taro, Daro Taku. 
Oma o muko tito hen. Oma lo jalo bokun. Oma rebo jagua akata guna lori. Kabi esi o obagba de bo. Mo ma homa e ni mo befa. Mo tu jinara e ni mo beje me maroba fe o. Ono baroba fe ki obagba. Baba mo badu akwe di. Eh, eh, oba di jeoku di jekbe o. Obagba de bo. In case you don't know, he is a first class oba. A first class ruler. This 2023, make it 46 years on the throne of his ancestors. Long may you reign. Kabisi. On the emergence of Ibotako from Mikale, please listen, relax, and let me take you through how we came to be. However, and in this word I say, take note of all these people who show Uru how we came to be. They are Koko, then the Bagba River, then how the name come about Utaku. Our progenitor, Ojabulegu Lumere, and his siblings, Jola and Lemeha, all born from the same mother called Magule. But different father, their mother Magule was a beautiful wife which gave birth to sons to different royal family. Ati Wokmon, he gave birth to Lumuri. You know, people believe that the Jola, they come from the present day Uru, which is the uh, Kwara state. That there he, born, he gave birth to Jola. Meanwhile, she gave birth to Lemia. You know, this area of of this thing, but we believe. I will tell you as I move on where they are from. All the fathers of Magule, sons are all king. However, Lumuri's father migrated from Iwopo to Ayika with Magule and her sons, a town where they lived for many years. Lumuri offended his daddy, according to history. In practice of an omission taboo, which I will not mention in this episode, is that a promise to take life out of him. So he ran away from home to Ikoya, where his mother was born. Ikoya is referred to as the, the, the cradle of Ikale land. The date. So they returned to where Magule was born. That is our mother, the mother of Lumere. Now, owing to the quarrel between Magule uh, and this thing, though the quarrel was not well mentioned, he had to leave. He left Aika and returned back to Ikoya. And there he reunited with Lumere, his son again. Then others have to follow down Lumere. I'm talking of his people, his siblings, Jola and Lemeha. All of them follow down back to Ikoya. It was in Koya that they were, I'm not going to mention what led to the death of Magule in this episode. However, Magule died. And when he died, intention calls for we have to relocate from this Ikoya. They relocated. In relocation, you know, when Lumuri called them together, the Majua, Lumuri, they called them together, like, let's find a place since we have been hosted out of here. Let's move out of here and let's find a place. They found the place down to, they're down to, we're moving towards Okitipupa. As they were moving towards, you know, by the left hand side going, they found the place and let's stay back here. On getting to that gathering, to that place, that place is called Magbirewon. You know, the Kogun, one of the Lumere descendants, consulted the oracle. Can we stay here? And the oracle spoke and let them know that this place lives, lives in Minale. That if you stay here, his sons and daughters will die every two, three months. On hearing this, they turned back and followed, moved towards another town. And as they continued to move towards another town, the town that they mentioned was Oloto. They continued to move towards it. You know, Ojak Bulegu and his people approached Oloto. Can we stay with you? Oloto said, we are sorry. The land that we have here, the land he has here, is for him and his, and his children, even the children's wife, to make a living and even farm there. So it's owing to this. But he suggested that they can just go after a river there, they will see another land there. You know, there they went to. You know, in an attempt of crossing this river, it was so hard for them to cross. And the people say, oh, so me. I think this river is very difficult to cross. Oh, so rude, very tedious to cross. So by the time they cross to the other side, they now call themselves people of Oshuru. That is Oshuru. That is where we have the Oshuru kingdom. When they know on crossing the stream to the other side, that is where the Oshuru came from. On crossing the stream to the other side, 
You know, they saw some smoking fire, forest there. They saw some smoking fires, and there they met their cocoa. Their cocoa were there already. You know, it was believed that they came from East Akoko. And when they got there, you know, occupying the forest already before them, they just had to tell them the Majuas and the Lumeris have to tell them that we are here, we are not here to fight to fight you, but let's make a living together. And there they are certain, and even their Koko made them to understand that we are just here for one thing and nothing more. You know, they have to live together in harmony. While living there, the Oloto have to send back for Lumri to come back because his wife had to remind him, have you forgotten that Ifa was consulted? And they told us that people were coming to come and stay with us, allow them to stay. But you know, this thing escaped Oloto's mind. And uh, he had to send his messenger to rush after the Majua and the Lumri. While rushing after them, on getting there, you know, he said them settling well at that point. And you know, he now telling him that, please go and tell Oloto that I have found a place to stay, which is now known as Moribodo. He said, Moribodo, eh, Moribodo, I found a lot of Moribodo, 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 and that comes about Moribodo. You know, after a while, they settle there, they keep flourishing, increasing in numbers and farm products. And there's need for them to extend, to expand. Living with their cocos, don't forget. To expand and to extend their territory. There, you see, the Jola moved. As Jola moved, Jola moved down to Iroa. The Lemia as well moved. But Lumri had to take his course. Okay, after a while, let me trace down Jola. Jola, which happens to be uh, Lumri's. Jola, okay, Jola and Lumere, they are not of the same mother that I want you to know. Jola is of the same mother with, uh, yes, with, of, with Lumere rather, but Jola is of the same mother with Lumere and Lemeha. So the Lupokun have to stand up and say, let me follow our people, you know, who is these people? It is the Jola, he followed Jola down to Iroa, but do not forget that in Moribodo, Many of our great ancestors died. They are were buried there. Your body. So by moving, following the jewelers, on getting there at that jeweler's place, you know, the made jeweler at Rowa. And Jola is like, they want to Luboku want to stay with you. You know, you can't stay with us here. You know, just move down, move down. There is a place that if you move down and move down, you see a river flowing. With a high velocity, just flowing like that. He said, What do you mean? I can bara, bara. And after the river, you see otako trees everywhere. The river flowing bara, bara is what they call bara, bara. And as you move ahead, you see otako trees everywhere. They now say, hey, This is a forest where otako trees abound. That is why they call it Ibu Tako. What? Let me stop here, as in my next episode, I'll take you through the lineage, as I don't want the episode to be so long. The lineage, where do we, how do we have, how do we have, they will take, you through, take you through the Lubokun's descendant. Do not forget, I told you, my name is Okeomoge, I am from Ibotako or Jagilero, and I've been able to explain or take you through the map of Ibotako, location of Ibotako, the traditional rulers, and the emergence of Ibotako, however, I have to close this chapter by mentioning to you that in my next episode, I will start from where I start, which is major villages in Ibotako, religion, lineage of Ibotako, and some other things. Thank you. Thank you and God bless. Please don't follow. Do not forget to like, follow, and share this clip. Thank you. God bless you. Love you all.